Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 2, Lesson 8, Mutator Methods, Exercise Number 4. Call the mutator method to change the flavor of my dessert to a new flavor. Then we'll call a mutator method to change the price of my dessert to a new price. Well, that doesn't sound too hard at all, kids. And most of the code to print this off has actually already been written for us. Well, the first thing we need to do is to determine what object we're updating. Well, the object is the my dessert. So my dessert. And we want to access our new mutator method, right? And we have two of them, if you remember. We have set flavor, set price. Flavor takes a string, double takes a price. If we want to update the flavor one, we're going to call the set flavor method. And we want to give it a parameter pass along or a new variable to store. And this time they want me to go from coconut to strawberry. So I'm going to use quotes because we're passing a string along and that's going to be strawberry. Don't forget your semicolon afterwards. Next, we have to update the price. It looks like they want us to use a 650. Same thing. What object? We're in the my dessert object. What method do we want to access? Our method name is set price. So we go set price. And what's the new price we want to store? Well, we want to store 650. No quotes, because it is a primitive data type. Now when I hit run, I should get flavor coconut, $1.75. But now I should get strawberry and 650, just like this print off over here. And again, all we're doing, we're calling the set flavor method. And we're passing along strawberry. So strawberry becomes new flavor and flavor is now equal to new flavor, which is strawberry. So now whenever flavor in the private instance variable is referenced in this object, it'll be strawberry. And the same thing goes for the price. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what happens. And it looks like our output was the exact same as theirs. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is how we access and change values using our mutator methods. Again, what object are we trying to update using our dot operator? Then we call the mutator or set method with the correct argument. For ours, set flavor took a string, so we inputted a string, and our price took a double, so we entered a double. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to use your mutator methods a little better in Java. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.